Welcome back, guys, for another episode. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day, and we're just gonna get get straight to it. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> I what did I know? Finish it all. You, Tommy? Come on, there's yeah. still gas in your tank. Boss is waiting back. for you. Thanks. <laughs> in your right. aquel idiota. Arrenditi. Ah, potrai combattere ancora. Let's talk to the boss. Is there something upstairs? I want to check it out. Oh. Sorry about that weird cut. Um, nothing's in here. Let's see where else we can go. That's pretty much it, right? Yeah. All right, I guess we have to talk to the boss. Okay. Where's the weirdest? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just okay. wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Okay. Or maybe he's gonna give me a piece, a gun, a pistol. Please be a pistol. Hey, just the guy. I saw this, and I thought of you. Yes. Uh, it's not a pistol. It's a revolver. But you ever carried a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good posture. Real mean. Now, click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay. Now show me a reload. I right, open the chamber and away you go. All right. Last thing. Needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some, and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Finny. Mm, okay, cool. Thank you. That was the fastest reload for a revolver. Unless it was a fast reload, but dang. So we'll you guys car. need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. Ah, uh, what's losing some motors to him? Come He's got at least five garages this side of town. Is that the same car that He's we stole? Wrong, you guys know. Oh. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. Okay, so V to pick a car. Come on, Dada Tommy. Show me what you can do. Okay, it's a car. You got it. Have a good day, for fellas. Oh, it's not thirty. If 
First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. Don't keep the radio on. Hopefully, uh... Okay, hopefully it doesn't... YouTube doesn't make me get rid of it, but... Just this one episode and we'll see. Ooh, that's close. If they don't, then I'll keep the radio on, but other than that... Keep going. This, I, the car, okay, this one is way better than the car that we had last game. I, got, I mean, this is the one that we stole, so it's a little bit faster, I guess. Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Okay. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How do I walk? <laughs> Early last episode, I wanted to get run. Now I just like, all right, caps lock. Got it. Just making sure. How's little Julia? Ha, so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no, nothing like that. Good. So you got the money. I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we... This letter is a notification that you are in default of your obligation to make payments on your agreed loan. Request to pay this debt unless your full amount is received within two weeks. I will but instruct this bank to begin the foreclosure process. He's getting closed down! Can see ya. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without payment? You gonna get the dough or what, Tom? Cards. Trapini. Where's the money? Peron, fetcha! Voici succhiate in sangue! It's on the table, brown envelope! Via di qui! Lasciateci in pace! <laughs> if someone got it. See you next month, Al. Language, Let us you know, know if you need I anything. I have no idea what anything you're at saying. All. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your ma. Huh? Easy. Easy. Okay, there we go. Next. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Hey. Guy who used to run this next place, Tom? His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard, couldn't scrub it out. Okay. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs they're in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. Gotta rough some people up. I 
really want to ride one of those motorcycles. Cause they didn't have it mapped there too. Maybe there, maybe there's gonna be a mission for I ride now. This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Okay, we're just gonna wait. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own, she gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Three whiskeys later, and the thing finally stops moving around in his stomach. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Sorry Once we that. were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you oughta... To... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> When little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. That was pretty. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. Safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we built. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's Motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. <laughs> that truck just bounced. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, that in the city, it. out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. I kind of like it, like driving in the 
out into the country. It's kind of nice. Okay, there it okay, is. Okay. Finally. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Get some gas while you're at it. Oh, that is so dangerous. Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Oh, it's outside. Damn. Sam, oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on, you'd be all right. You're tough as nails. Damn. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. 
Oh, catch the bastard! <laughs> He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money! Go, go. Oh, shoot. to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. Dang. Ordinary room. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat. And the next, you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Okay. Yeah, I seriously have no... I'm trying to... Wait, I hear it. Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dumb, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are going to be expensive. Oh, you, you're not going to need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's grills a little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin again. <laughs> Tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? 
Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Yeah, I'm still trying to remember how the story goes, but I really can't remember. It's been a while. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to cow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race. And he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop let you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. <laughs> race day approaches. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. Christ. That was some night. For you, maybe. But those brides... I don't even remember. Not so much. So that's a five, a six... Hey, hey. Buona sera, Tommy. <laughs> so that's a five, a six, uh, along with what's already behind the bar. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is. Then look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lolo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back, and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30, and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, okay. hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motor safe, where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. See what cars we have. Get a taxi. Oh, we have the. Oh, we got the Samson. <laughs> okay. So this is from Market Two. Once you kill, um, I forgot his name already. Um, I forgot his name. But this is from Market Three. It's. Lincoln. It's Lincoln's car. I'll drive this car. Ooh, it's so fast. It's 
so out of place. It's so out of place. It's not even the same like era. This car way better than the other one now. So slippery though, but it's fine. You Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. It looks so nice, though. <sighs> Tomorrow morning, they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. <sighs> Things I've seen. She is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it in one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Berton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. <laughs> Wrecking this car. <laughs> oh, no.
Oh. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him. Cause I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. 
<laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moments. Oh. Sure, Frank. We've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. From Europe, we got the hot shot, baby. Okay. I am gonna end the episode there, <laughs> guys. I'm just gonna end the episode because this episode is going really long. So don't worry, I'll continue in this scene, but I gotta end the episode. Alright, guys, subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.